Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert your minivan into a traveling camper. So this is a really cool setup. The first thing I did was I removed the middle seats and then of course I put the back seats down. And then a lot of people wanna build frames and stuff. It's, you don't need that if you're gonna be going out for, for a night or you're gonna use this five times a year, say. You can go and buy a cot. I'm gonna show you this cot here. I actually got this cot for 50 bucks. It folds up very nicely and it unfolds very easy too. And it's got a nice mattress on it and you'll put your sleeping bag on top. And then under your cot, you have tons of storage, wherever you wanna put there. You can put your uh, chair there. And then a the cool thing about the Odyssey is it's got this cool, call it a tailgating seat. So there you go, you got a nice little setup there. Well, it's getting pretty late here, so I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, perfect night, 70 degrees, zero bugs out. Got my lantern on and nothing's flown in. Uh, I put my shades up on my uh, car window here. Pretty sweet. So uh, it should be pretty, stay pretty dark even when the sun comes up. It's very comfortable, feels secure like you're in a camper. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm really digging it right now. It's kind of better than a tent because you're off the ground and I'm secure, I'm safe. I got uh, metal and glass around me so I feel safer and it should be a little warmer because i'm supposed to get a little cooler tonight it's gonna close my lamp there and we'll call it a day morning what a night that was so warm and comfortable the cot really did its job and the sleeping bag kept me warm it actually got really cold at night it got down to about 45 degrees but between the bag and the wind barrier of the vehicle, it worked out really good. It's probably about 50 degrees. It actually rained a little bit during the night, so um, which wasn't a problem because I had this. Next thing I'm gonna do, get set up for my breakfast. So I got this cool table here. Looks like a briefcase, but it actually folds into a table which has different heights. So this is the low setting, but I want the high setting. So I just stick my legs in there. Goes in real easy. I got this off Amazon for like $25, maybe 30. That was a couple years ago, of course, but super handy. Locks into place. Get that. Next thing I got is my stove so it's pretty cool you flip this over close the lid self-contained i also have my um little splash guard here so i'm not going to use it today because i don't need it but if you're cooking something that's going to splash pop it there protects all your stuff i'm going to put this on my table inside here i got my gas super easy it lasts a long time And I just pull out of my storage here. I got some of my cooking supplies. So I always keep a container with cooking supplies in it. So I know red is my cooking supplies. So first thing I'm gonna do is put a little water in here and I'm gonna boil this to make my coffee. Here's another cool little hack. This was actually uh, sold at I think Babies R Us, but I uh, picked it up and I, I saw some cool hacks where you can put your coffee, your creamer, your sugar in there. And then each morning you just can pour it into your cup and you're good to go. You don't have to have it in Ziploc bags, things like that. And then of course in here I got my pans and other things. Get my fire on, get coffee going. I mean, obviously this thing's not like super, super hot, but it's so convenient. It fits in another little briefcase type package. And uh, this thing boils so fast that um, 
it's pretty sweet. So I'm just gonna get my cup ready and uh, put my ingredients, put my coffee in there. And it'll be good for my coffee, then I'm gonna cook up some eggs. I like a little sugar in my coffee. Sometimes I put cream in here too, but today I just, this trip I just decided I'm trying to cut back on that powdered cream. So I got my mix all ready to go. And this thing's almost boiling. Let's give it another second here. There it goes. So I'm gonna just shut this off and uh, pour my coffee in, pour my water into my coffee, I should say. Thing I like to do is in the morning it's so peaceful out and uh, I just like to sit back and um, let me show you a cool feature on my minivan this is a Honda Odyssey so that's why I like to store everything under um, under my cot which is awesome yeah so this is a pretty sweet setup it's got my uh, got my grill here I could have a barbecue there if I wanted to and I just chill on my uh, chill on my nice warm leather seat and it's awesome all right, I'm gonna light, light this up, cook my eggs here. Super easy to light up, it just clicks and it's good to go. Put my pan on there. I'm gonna let the pan warm up for a second here, then I'll get my eggs going. My egg holder. So obviously this, this trip was just a short trip. I was just having some fun. So, I mean, I'm only gonna be out here for a night or two, but this thing protects your eggs. So, and it actually works. I've used it many times. The only thing I do is I also put like a rubber band around it to uh, really make sure it doesn't open because it's got these kind of like cheesy little uh, snaps that I don't necessarily trust. But whatever, it's cool. Heat up a little bit here. So breakfast this morning is gonna be eggs and a uh, little bit of ham fried on the grill with some toast. Put my ham on there. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. I mean, I also have a uh, cassette toilet. If, if you really wanted to go boondocking, um, you could use your cassette toilet and you'd be fine. You could live out here for a week, no problem. This is a super easy breakfast. It's super easy to clean the, uh, the pot. When it's done, I can put a little bit of butter on there. Take a sip of my coffee and just kind of a brisk fall morning, which is really nice. Um, kind of gets you away from all the uh, hustle and bustle and stuff. So a quick review of my uh, van that I made into a camper van. Uh, it's a really sweet setup. So this was just a um, uh, two night trip, so no big deal. But um, you can see I used a cot and this cot allows me to have storage underneath. So the beauty of a cot is I don't need to build a frame structure. I don't need to make anything complicated. I can buy an off the shelf product. This thing folds up pretty small. I can store it in my garage or my basement. Super comfortable to sleep on. When you buy a cot, try to get the ones with the spring rather than the fabric wrapped around because it gives you that, gives you a much more comfortable fit. And then it uh, comes with a nice foam type mat in the sleeping bag. By the time you put all that together, it's very comfortable. And then underneath, um, you have tons of storage. So, so I have my cookware items that I usually keep here. And then um, over here, I could put a cooler underneath if I wanted to, but I leave my water and cooler here. Um, in case I need to, it's just easier to get access to. And then I always have auxiliary. Um, a lot of times I'll put a tarp in there or uh, bungee cords or something I might need for, for different types of trips. And then again, this is a Honda Odyssey. So it's got some coat hooks here. So I put my lantern there at night. Um, you can just pull it down, pull it down and it turns out. Cool, another cool thing about the Odyssey is it's got this uh, screen here. So it blocks some of the light, but at night it, it really gives you that privacy. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna come around here. So under here, 
um, again, tons of storage. I have my a chair, uh, my my uh, cooktop, or my table and my cooktop. And then um, if, I, if it's raining and I just want to sit in here, there's tons of room, plenty of room to just kind of, plenty of room just to kind of sit and kind of see. It's comfortable. I could lean against the back wall if I wanted to. Um, if it's raining or if it's just like, you know, a miserable day, which sometimes that happens, that's a good thing to have. Another cool thing about the Honda is uh, it's got this uh, tailgate seat and uh, it makes a real comfortable seat. You can pull this out a little bit if you wanted to. You can actually, I think, remove it too. And then you can just sit there and chill and then you got your uh, your cover your uh, tailgate lift gate so you can uh, sit there get out of the sun whatever you want to do but you know hopefully you enjoyed this video 